Hi, Dr. Steve here. In this video, I'm going to complete Section 8 of Test 1 from the College Board Blue Book. If you've not already seen my introductory video, where I complete Section 3, I would suggest you watch that first. Have your Blue Book open so you can follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or post them up on my Facebook wall, facebook.com forward slash the SAT Math Prep. Okay, number one. According to the chart above, how many honorable mention ribbons were awarded altogether? Okay, that's the darker one. So I see four, five, six, and five is 11, 12, 13 I'm getting, which is choice D. Okay, number two. In the figure above, point A is the center of the circle, and second is B, D, and C, E are diameters. Which of the following statements is true? Um, let me just draw and label this picture. So we have four, six. So all these are six. It doesn't say figure not drawn to scale, so I'm going to assume it is. I see ED equals four. That's choice E. Okay. Number three. Uh, for positive integers A, B, and C, rectangle ABC is defined by A to the B minus AC plus C. What is the value of 5 to 6? So that's 5 to the 2 minus 5 times 6 plus 6. 5 squared minus 5 times 6 plus 6. Let's make sure that's right. 5 to 2 minus 5. Yeah, that looks good. And that came out to 1, which is choice A. Okay. Number 4. Uh, in the xy coordinate plane, what is the area of the square with opposite vertices at negative 2, negative 2, and 2, 2? Okay, that's going to look like that. 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4. So the area of the square is 16, choice C. Okay, number 5. The four children in the Spear family are Owen, Chad, Steph, and Daria. Uh, Chad is neither the youngest nor the oldest. Chad is neither the youngest nor the oldest, okay. Um, Daria is one of the two older children. So we have Daria up top somewhere. Uh, Steph is the youngest child. So Steph is at the bottom. Owen is often taken care of by his older brother and sister. Um, that means that Owen has to be here. Uh, Daria is one of the two oldest and Chad is not the oldest. So they're in the right position. Who is the oldest? That would be Daria choice B. Okay. Number six, if QR is parallel to PS in the figure above, what is two times X plus Y? Well, that's a quadrilateral, it's just 360, which is choice E. Okay, number seven, the average of three positive numbers X, Y, and Z is 12, so the sum is 36. When the greatest of these two numbers is subtracted from the sum of the other two, the result is four, X less than Y less than Z. So Z is the greatest. The greatest is subtracted from the sum of the other two. The result is 4, and that looks just like choice A. Okay, um, which is fine, let's just check. Yeah, that's what they wanted. Okay, number 8. If x and y are positive integers, and 3 to the 2x times 3 to the 2y equals 81, what is the value of x plus y? Okay, so 3 to the 2x plus 2y is, is uh, 3 to the 4th. So 2x plus 2y is 4, and x plus y is 2. That's choice B. Okay, number 9. The figure above shows the graph of y equals f of x from x equals negative 8 to x equals 8. For what value of x in this interval does the function attain its maximum value? Okay, it looks like this. There's the maximum, and we want to know the value of x. So 1, 2, 3, 4. x equals 4, which is choice B. Okay, number 10. If k equals x over 3 and x is non-zero, what does 3x equal in terms of k? So we have 3k equals x, and we want 3x, so 9k is 3x. 9k, that's choice B. Okay, number 11. A cube has two faces painted black and the remaining faces painted white. The total area of the white faces is 64 square inches. So there are four white faces. 64 over 4 is 16. The area is 16 for each white face. We want the volume of the cube. So the length of a side of the cube is, um, oops, the area is 16. So the side is the square root of that, which is 4. And the volume would then be 4 cubed, which is 64, choice A. Okay, number 12. The letters V, W, X, and Y represent numbers as shown on the number line above. Which of the following has the least value? Eek, I'm just going to do this the long way and compute it. 
zero, let's see, x, y, one. All right, so let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. All right, so this is one fourth, that's three fourths. This is negative a half and negative three fourths. So let's compute all of these. A, B, C, D, E, V plus Y. So that's negative three fourths plus three fourths, that's zero. V plus X, negative three fourths and a fourth is negative two fourths. I'll leave it as fourths for now. W plus X, negative a half plus um, a fourth, that's negative one fourth. Uh, D, V minus W, negative three fourths plus a half is uh, negative one, let me do that, negative three fourths plus a half is negative a fourth. And E, Y minus X, that's three fourths minus one fourth is two fourths. We want the least value, that would be negative two fourths, choice B. Ooh, that was a tough one. Number 13. The number n is to be added to the list above if n is an integer which the find could be the median of the new list of seven numbers. So we have 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 12, and we have this extra n. Okay, uh, n is an integer which could be the median. So we want to know about 6, 6 and a half, and 7. Well, if it's an integer and there are seven numbers, it's odd, so it can't be 6 and a half. Uh, can it be 6? Uh, yes, if we put n over there, it'll be 6. If we put n over there, it'll be 7. So both of these are okay, so it's 1 and 3 only, choice D. Number 14. Okay. As shown above, a certain design is to be painted using two different colors. If five different colors are available, how many differently painted designs? So it's 5 times 4, which is 20, which is choice B. Okay, number 15. Uh, if the length of a rectangle is increased by 30% and the width is of the same rectangle is decreased by 30%, what is the effect on the area of the rectangle? So let's start with a rectangle of area 100, 10 by 10. And let's increase uh, the length by 30% to 13 and decrease the width by 30% to 7. So 13 times 7, that's 91. There's a decrease of 9%. Decrease. That's choice E. Okay, and number 16. Um, uh, this looks tough, so let me, get, let me get a new piece of paper. 16, so we have n of t equals t squared over 2 minus 20t plus k. There was a 100-day period when the number of bees in a certain hive could be modeled by the function n above. In the function, k is a constant n of t represents the number of bees on day number t for t between 0 and 99. What number day was the number of bees in the hive the same as it was on day 10? Day 10, so n of 10 is going to be... 100 over 2 is 50 minus uh, 200 plus k. Um, so that would be negative 150 plus k. So we want n of something, say n of t, to be negative 150 plus k. So we have t squared over 2 minus 20t plus k equals negative 150 plus k. Okay, there's a k on each side, so cross them out. Uh, multiply by 2, we get t squared minus 40t equals negative 300. Let me bring the 300 over. And let's see, this should factor with a t minus 10 since t worked before. And t minus 30, uh, negative 10, yes. Okay, so we get t equals 10 and t equals 30. We already have the 10, so 30, that's choice B. And we are done.